I'm David Lori Vanderbeek. I'm the next governor of Nevada, and I'm just going to show you some important footage on the uh, Texas fertilizer plant explosion. If you go to the website NevadaGovernor2014.com, <clears throat> I've got this new blog blog post video missile used in Texas fertilizer plant explosion, and uh, you can see the share buttons over here. Just FYI, <clears throat> you can tweet it, Facebook it, and uh, Google Plus it other things like that. Um, if uh, you want to disclose that, if it's bothering you, you can just click the share. So let's look at this. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to hear it and you're going to see it and I'm going to talk you through this. So uh, this person is saying more detail into the missile conspiracy theory. I've repeated the bullet whizzing portion several times in this just before the boom showing the flash coming in from the left if our own government is using missile in Texas we are seriously in trouble I have no idea if this is actually a missile but it looks pretty damn well like it to me you be the judge <clears throat> okay Flashes on on left is all you would see of a missile <clears throat> right in real time speed. That's what he's saying Okay, normal speed full clip first Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you heard it come in like a jet. Okay now let, let's you could already hear that because you were listening for it this time, but uh, watch the replays in full in uh, full speed. They're in shock. They don't know what's going on. Full speed. Okay. Even at full speed, your subconscious mind can slow it down and know that you saw something coming in from the left, from the left and down, from the left and down. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going 50% uh, speed repeats from the left and down. From the left and down. 20%. Boom. Yeah. Uh huh. Boom. Boom. 5%. Boom. All right. See the flame? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let me show you something. I'm gonna pause it right here. Okay, you see the flames here. Okay? This is not the way fire behaves, folks. Your smoke over here in the air doesn't ignite and cause an explosion. The explosion doesn't start in the smoke. It starts in the heart of the fire. That's where an explosion starts. But here you see an explosion <coughs> or a flame bigger than the fire itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're seeing flames across it here. And now you look over here. You see it blowing out this direction, which is consistent with fo the force of energy. All right, coming across, it's dark here and blown out this end. Dark here, blown out to the right. Dark on the left, blown out to the right. <laughs> see that? It's even stronger there. As it, as it goes over time, you can see that the release of energy is still out of this direction. <laughs> And so he says it. He's saying a good thing here. He's saying, uh, "You be the judge. Where's all the military guys that would know this sound characteristic, second nature?" Let's do it. Let's do it again. Flashes on the left is all you would see of a missile. Okay. Normal speed first. What's going on, huh? Okay, let's see. Boom! Oh, you can hear that. You can hear the echo 
of the jet coming in. Can't you hear that echo? I'll do it in full. Listen for the echo coming across. You know, listen for it. <laughs> you hear the jet come in, and you hear it just. Uh, that's what a jet sounds like coming in. You know what we should do is is go. You go and just look. Google up um, <coughs> missile strikes and look up some videos <coughs> of what it sounds like when a missile comes in. I don't know. Here's one. About the same time, the Navy. Yeah, it's not going to help us. So what we need to do is just get some missile strikes, and and maybe I'll find one, and I'll. Uh, we all need to do that. We can go. We can. We can just look up what missiles look like when they come in. We don't need uh, a military guy. Let's maximize this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fifty percent. Well, there's something. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how you. I. I don't know how you. Uh, deny the possibility of even asking the question. Something comes in, the release of the information of the energy goes out the other direction. Comes in from this side, blows out that side. Yeah, I mean that's the frame right there. Yeah. <laughs> Blows out that side. Yeah, any as you go along, it's even stronger. Yep, right there. Most ma the mass of the energy over time is right here, blowing out that direction. When the wind is blown th the opposite direction. See that you can see the winds coming in this way. So whatever it is comes in from this side, and the and the smoke is actually concealing it. <clears throat> so if somebody was shooting a missile in here, and that's what we need to know is what direction this is coming in from because um, the other piece is um, this story Obama closing air defense system on US-Mexico border Texas and America vulnerable to attack from low altitude missiles and aircraft okay um, that article is is reposted here just in case you're not able to open it and this fellow <clears throat> David Bellow of the Texas GOP is wrote this on January 18th that uh, because of budget cuts we have less security in our border and the Air Force's air defense radar systems along the Mexican border were shut down as of March 15, 2013. And it just talks about that. Um, you know, not only will this closure mean hundreds of people out of jobs, but it will also mean our borders will not be safe, especially along the remote U.S.-Mexico border like in Texas. These defense radars detect uh, low-flying aircraft infiltrating our borders. Without these radars, low-flying aircraft will go undetected. It will be open season for any dug, drug, gun, slave smugglers, terrorists flying in with nukes, low-altitude missiles, or even a full-scale, low-elevation ele invasion attack against America. And not, <clears throat> and one, and ex uh, you know, one month later, you have this occur. So, um, it looks like a missile attack, sounds like a missile attack. And we were warned of it uh, on January 18th. So Obama, I call him the Trojan horse, is a threat to our national security. Now the thing I was going to comment on is if we could find the orientation of the of the uh, 
of the fertilizer plant that we could know what direction the wind was blowing and it's, for example if it was born east or west <coughs> excuse me you would know which direction the missile came in from so you would know if it originated from towards the border or actually from within within the United States now if I go over here to old Facebook um, I put this information up and uh, people have been sending in comments uh, about let's see here if we can find some more comments here uh, Did Monsanto really buy Blackwater? And then this Waco, Texas fertilizer company hit by drone uh, after lawsuit filed against Monsanto. So <clears throat> what you want to look for is what was the advantage? Who benefited from this plant exploding? Was there something going on business-wise where uh, if Monsanto owned the plant or was interacting with the plant, uh, uh, as on 9-11, you had, on 9-11, Larry Silverstein collected uh, uh, billions of dollars on the insurance policies, so people benefit from tragedy. You want to look at, at the business angle, not just, we've, we've looked at the physical, just the raw footage where it looks like a missile attack, uh, some kind of projectile. We've looked at uh, the political aspect where the air defense system on the Mexico border has been shut down by Obama, the Trojan horse. But then you've got to look at this aspect too. You've got to look at the, the business aspects of it. And the business or the corporate, this, you've got this international mega, mega corporation, Monsanto. Remember, Monsanto's got a larger economy uh, than, uh, Monsanto's got a larger economy than most countries uh, and, and so when we're talking about these multinational international corporations um, you you've got to look at uh, the the suggestion that they've they've purchased up a Blackwater which is a security special forces uh, force like craft or similar to and uh, and then problems with this uh, so so if you could find out where the missiles coming in from, if it was done by some military, you you'd know what what di what direction is it come originating from Mexico, or was it did the missile originate in the U.S. And uh, I want to know uh, who financially stood to gain uh, from this explosion. Those are all important factors, folks. You've got to look at the full story. So let's go through it uh, one more time. Just to, let's listen to it and soak in uh, our sense experience here. <coughs> sure sounds like a missile to me. Down and from the left. Down and from the left. Down and from the left. You know those families down in Texas that lost family members, they deserve people to ask these questions. You know what I'm saying? The people of Texas deserve a real investigation. And uh, I'm not afraid to ask questions. I hope you're not afraid to ask questions either.